But if anybody has I'ma keep that shit between me and Tennessee Hello everybody, it is Melissa Welcome back to my channel uh, To the mayhem <laughs> We're going to do a pretty summer fanny I haven't got to use, have I used any of these? I'm trying to think, oh yeah, I've used this obviously that was going to be the first one I used regardless because I love it. Love it. And you have to say, if you love it, hoard it. <clears throat> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, yeah, mm, yeah, I think I'm going to do both of these. I'm going to do one on one hand and one on the other. See which, if I like Wicked Cool or the new one. I can never remember the name. Hanalei Bay. It's not in the pack, but I think that's the name of it. Hanalei Bay. I believe. Anyway, it's still on the side available. So, let's see, this one might have sold out that they were going to restock it, I think. I haven't kept up with stuff as much. So I have been added to under the weather. Uh, so, and I'm not a stylist, so uh, I don't have to be like right on top of stuff, but I have let them less down lately. So, that's really pretty. I love that glitter on that. That would be beautiful um, as a pedicure if you could get your toe in that. But my toe is that big. So, okay. Uh, let's see. So, I have in mind sort of what I want to do on one hand. And then I will figure out the other. These should be really fresh. I shouldn't have... Mm, that's one of the this is one of the right here. That's wicked cool. So that one of these has been open for a long time. A long time. Come on, I don't want to have to open it down that has a name on it. Why does this always happen to me? Because it's like Melissa's Manny's and this haps would be probably a more appropriate name. Oh, Gosh, here we go. Sniff, sniff. All right. <clears throat> so I know one hand I want to do this. <laughs> I'll be able to break this the thing in two. Oh my gosh. Told y'all I hadn't felt good. I'm so weak. Can't even break these strips in two. Holy cow. That's pretty bad. So pinky, middle, thumb. And, because I love green, I'm going to have green in my life. One hand's going to have just this on it. Because I want to see how good it looks without glitter versus does it look better with glitter. Um, let me look here because I have used a good bit. This is my first set that I popped open though, so that's good. Alright, I can get... see that's the same one it's usually the one I do not use but I will use it this time that's what I usually use on my middle finger but <laughs> just move them all around it doesn't matter alrighty so this also would be a pretty pedicure pretty pretty it is Hanalei Bay is that what I said I think that's what I said. I didn't see the name on it, but there you go. That's the name. Okay. Now. So. Now. <laughs> okay. Well, I want, let's see. I'm not sure if I want to put these together. Which ones is it, first of all? Doesn't really matter to me. You can tell I just, like, make them fit most of the time. Let's see. Okay, do I want to do the bigger, uh, this is going to be sheer, I know it's going to be really sheer, hold on, let me look, oh, they were wrong, I was wrong, it's not, it's not sheer, okay, alright then, I'm saying it's not sheer, it's not sheer, okay, um, It's got to have at least one of these in here, guys. This has got to. Let's. Let's see. 
needle. I don't have one for a thumb other than one that's got, I could use the other thumb. It's not, it's not a sand, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Put this one here and I want to put this over it. This wannabe. This is a really pretty, uh, just sparse pink glitter. It's really pretty. Let me find the size that goes there. It's right here. Okay, and there, and then I can use this one here. Whoops. I'm anxious to see what this looks like. And what do we want to put on the pinky? Do we want to do the sheer pinky this time? I didn't use any of those strips. That's okay. It just like it's not a law that I have to use. <laughs> I think it is. It's not. <laughs> okay. That's how I'm going to do them. They're going to be different a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. Let's put these up and then let's get going. Let's get bitch your rubble. I hope everybody's been good. I missed you guys. Um, I'd say every day I gotta get my office. Cindy knows she can vouch for me because every day that's what I would say. I gotta get in there. I gotta get my office. And she'd say, I know. I didn't feel like it. Just felt like I'd been kicked in the patootie. So they changed my. Looky there, a pirate's life just hiding out in there. Those would be perfect for the two strip petty challenge. You can um, do your toes with two strips. If you go back in some of my videos, you can see how to do it. And I don't know why those weren't in there, but I'm just going to stick them back in there. I'm sure I had no plan when I put them in there. They probably were just laying out like this, and I said, oh, well, I'll just stick those in here. <laughs> Maybe I will flip them at least this way, so I'll know they're in there when I look, but I don't know. Don't know why I do what I do most of the time. Okay, here we go. Here we go. These can go back in here. I'm sorry, guys. Wow, I've took seven minutes, and I've not done a thing except talk. Y'all, don't leave me, Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to go now. I'm ready to go now. Okay. All right. So this is going to be, I think this is going to be my left hand. This one. I'm going with it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So I'm uh, still doing the just stack it up instead of trying to fight with all the static. Like I say, let me be lazy and we'll all learn from it. <laughs> so... It worked for me. I don't have to fight with all that stuff anymore. The only thing I put in my trash can is this, the waste from the strip. And now that I have started stamping, I had, you know, somebody say, oh, yeah, I didn't even realize that you could stamp over um, Keller Street. And yeah, you can, you can stamp over it. Um, you know, it's, it's polished, so, and it's dry to the touch. So yeah, it can be stamped right over. So, I got to do a video this evening of one of the Manny by Me boxes uh, from Maniology. Their June box. See, I did the May one with the little bees and stuff. And I might try to film the mermaid one, but I've got to lay it out first and know what I'm going to do. Because when I did the uh, May one, I was in here for like two and a half hours figuring out what I was going to do and ain't nobody wants to sit in here that long. I didn't want to sit in here that long. Can we just take a moment? This is my favorite strip I believe ever. I believe ever because I love sea glass shores that, and this is this is similar and I just love it. Like I, I think those, those colors together are just gorgeous. My husband's mowing so if you hear that you'll know that it is nice and warm and the grass is going like crazy where I'm at. It's actually way warm. So, little Clara, no one's journey. 
She tricked me. She did. So I'm gonna be taking my, um, <laughs> all three dogs, but only two of them need to be seen. But Clara, or Journey, has got such separation anxiety from me. I have separation anxiety from her, but she's gotta go with me when I take the other two dogs to the vet. So Mila's got <clears throat> some issues going on in her back and I'm, I'm real concerned. I'm real scared. Um, I shouldn't have got, I told Chris I was not going to take her to the vet until after we went to the beach because she loves the beach and I don't want to go to the beach knowing it. You know, I'm not saying that I know that it, what's wrong with her. I hope I could go and it's like absolutely nothing. But she's 13 now. She's slowing down some. And when you pick her up, she just feels so frail. You know, she just feels old. And it just breaks my heart. I can't, I just can't bear it. Um, and then I was like, well, I should probably take her and get her seen. Cause last time I gave her a bath, which was just mm, maybe about four or five days ago she had so many of those places that had come up on her back and more than before we were always told it was just like white dog white poodles you know and they said that's really not true all dogs get the spots most of the time but you just don't see it on like journey you know where she's black um white dogs show it a whole lot more but when i was looking up because i was afraid that it could be cancer and I was looking up what the spots look like, and that's what I should not have done. Um, and so, but anyway, I will deal with that. So we got an appointment for them before vacation. And Clara still got that. You know, they both of my dogs ended up with a bald spot. Journeys with was from an injection and I believe Claire's was too. Do not know why. I'm gonna let the vet look at them. But um, it's been since last August and Journeys is actually, her hair is finally grown back. And she had a spot as big as a, how big is it? A lemon, at least as big as that on her hip. That was where they gave her a shot because I can remember holding her while she got the shot. And then Clara, went and got shots and then she had hair fall out. Now I didn't see where Clara got hers and they got different shots. So I don't know. Um, my breeder told me when it first happened and she looked at it, she said, if it's an allergic reaction, it'll grow back, which I never thought it would. I had already given up hope that Claire uh, Journeys is growing back. It's actually back enough now it's starting to get a little bit of curl to it which is awfully sweet to see um again you know and because she's so beautiful and um you know there she had that bald spot on her hip so so clara has one and on the exact same hip and um so when she went to the groomer time before last and came home um it was very irritated. I'm not sure if like a shampoo irritated it or what, but it, I didn't notice it till the next day. And maybe it was the next day before it was really irritated. All right, wicked cool and wanna be. Yeah, they look good. Looks good, real good. Um, so yeah, Clara's got a spot and the first time she came back uh, from the groomer. I don't know if maybe they, uh, that's a big spot, y'all. It's not little. It's big like Journeys was. And so she was kind of irritated, like right around the edges of it. And so she started licking, you know, dogs are. And so I had been putting stuff on it that was like vegan. So it didn't matter if she licked it or not. And, um, had it all held up and she went back to the groomer and you know, Chris told her, you know, like, be careful. I'm not saying that she did anything. I'm just saying she came home and she was licking it, you know. <clears throat> of course, it could be a shampoo or anything that's bothering it. I just don't know. Um, but I know that we got to find out what's going on with both of them. 
So, but with my little Mila is my oldest girl, and gosh, I love her. And I think it bothers me so much to see her personality change. And it's not changed in a bad way. Like, it's become so sweet. Not that she hasn't always been sweet. She has. But used to, like, when the grandkids came over, she just high-tailed it to the bedroom. Was like, out of here. Out of here. I heard the car come, and I hear them kids. I'm out of here. I don't want to fool with them. Even though she, as infants, she laid and slept with them and loved on them and just, you know. But when they got up moving around and they would come and visit after they moved out, she was like, done, Clara. That's your job. Um, so, I'm sorry. My husband just came in the door. So, um, but anyway, it'd be like, you know, Clara, that's your job now. And um, so... But anyway, she was, she came over, which Lovey knows, as she was spending the night with us a while back, and when Lovey is here, she knows she'll say, Mila doesn't want to be petted, and I'm like, no, she'll be hiding, you know how she is, I said. So, um, she was, um, Lovey was standing in there, I was sitting there with Connor, she came up beside of me, and Mila jumped up in the chair and just started, like, little belly crawling over to her and I nobody could believe it I was actually facetiming her mom and I was like you're not gonna believe this and I showed her and her mouth fell open I said I know right um and I mean it's just like something she never I was about the, I'm about the only person that she'll dish out like love to you know and um but and then that night, when I was putting Lovie to bed, I lay down with her for probably like three minutes. That's how long it takes her to go to sleep. But um, we were laying in there and we were laying face to face. And we felt, I said, I'm sure Chicken Nugget, which is what she calls Clara. I said, I'm sure Chicken Nugget will be in here in a minute to lay with you, which she does. She sleeps with Lovie all night, Clara does. And, um, so we heard, you know, felt a dog jump up on the bed. And I was like, see, I bet that's chicken nugget. And I raised my head up and I looked down there and it was Mila. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe Mila. As I looked at her and I said, she looked at me. She said, was it chicken nugget? I said, no, it's Mila. Look at it. And she looked down there and the smile on that baby's face was worth everything. And then Mila just started crawling up between us and she laid down and just, um, you know, lay there and let her pet her for a few minutes. She started doing things that are so sweet, but are so out of character for her. And, you know, it. while I love it, it bothers me. It just, I don't know why. I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know what I feel, actually. I, other than I wish Clara would hush. I know that's her mouth. <laughs> you know, Clara, she loves her, her grandbaby. She uh, is very responsible. And she heard our little grandson on the Doppler other night. Uh, actually, not on the Doppler. Sorry about that. She heard him with her ear. She has always done that. She has been the only dog out of all of our dogs, and we actually let Journey try. She had no real interest in it. Um, but Clara has listened to uh, uh, Lovey and Layla in utero by the time they get about five months, four or five months. And we let her, we'll flap her ear back and put her head on, we would put it on Mackenzie's belly. And she would just lay there as silent and still and just look at us from one to the other like, do you all realize that there is a baby in here? Or there's something in here? I hear another heart. And she would just lay and listen. So the other night when my oldest that was that's expecting us over here, I said, we got to try Clara out. And she did it. And she looked, kept looking at us like, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm getting another baby. I'm getting another baby. So I was like, yeah, it's been a dry spell. Love these five. So yeah, we're, we are ready. So come on October 1st or, you know, September, as long as it's after Let's see, September 15th, I have a hair appointment. She cannot go on that day because I'm very sure that I'm going to need it. Um, so, forbid that day. But other than that, she can go whenever she wants after it's safe. 
So, all right, guys, I'm just sealing these up and talking y'all's ears off. It's been 20 minutes. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I even got them out of the pack and everything. Whoop. Ow. Ooh. Yeah, that, that worked real good, Mel. Watch me burn my fingers live. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, guys. I'm done. So, I like this. Would this not, like, be a rockin' beach mani? Woo-wee. I like. I like, I like. A lot. I don't know which I like better. Because I'm more of a cream polish girl, I'd probably go with this. But... This is pretty, and I had this laid out because look at the shift in this. This this is Pop the Bubbly, and beside of this, it's beautiful. So if you have a Pop the Bubbly, you might want to look at it. It goes from pink to gold, just like this uh, glitter in this. So that that caught my eye, and I think that would be pretty. Look at that with that. That was one of my other options to use. So anyway. Um, you guys have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you would hit the like button, that'd be great. And yeah, if you've not subscribed, come aboard. Welcome. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.